You cannot get to the Father unless you go through Jesus Christ. If you're trying to get to the Father without going through Christ, you're lost. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Listen. As you can see, that statement on the screen, black folks are horrible tippers, do better. This bothers me. Now, I don't like to get into things like this. Life is too short. I rather focus on the word of God, commitment to Christ, commitment to his, um, to his word. I want to focus on those things. But I've seen the statement come up plenty of time. And I say, you know what? I got to put my two cents in. I have to say something. Listen, before I roll this video, I'm not knocking anyone experience. If a white, black, or Asian, Spanish, I've experienced black people not tipping. That's their experience. The issue that I have, I rather the statement, some black folks are horrible tippers because I'm not in that category. I even tip at McDonald's. Now, I'm not telling anyone to do that. I know how it feels to be a waiter because I used to work at the casino. So, I just don't like the statement. I'm not knocking your experience. The statement promotes racism and not only that if you put something like this out there if you put something like this out there many times I've gone in a restaurant and I felt I've got horrible service because of my race and I don't believe the waiter is racist against black I just believe she has an issue because of what he or she has experienced and um, they already have it in their head that black people are horrible tippers. So now they're not going to, many times not going to give good service. And not, not a lot of people were like me when I was a waiter. I don't care who it is. If you're a good tipper, if you're a bad tipper, I'm going to give you the best service there is. But I know how it feels to work hard and you don't get any tip at the end of the day. I know that feeling. But I'm not going to go out there and say Jamaicans or Haitians or white or um, Hispanics are horrible tippers. I may say some Hispanics, some whites, some blacks are horrible tippers. Because once I put that out there, you're lumping everyone into the same category. And I don't like that. Roll the video. All right, guys. So I want to chime in on this interesting topic about something that I've actually thought about and had conversations about lately when going out to eat, which is the topic of black people and tipping. Okay. There's a stereotype that black people don't tip. And lo and behold, <laughs> there are waitresses or waiters, and this includes black waitresses slash waiters that have took to the internet to talk about how serving black people is a bad experience because they don't tip. Okay. And this is a topic I want to weigh in on.
because I actually have had conversations like this recently, and I find this topic to be fascinating. So without further ado, I want to roll this clip of this viral video of this woman taken to the internet to talk about her experience serving black people because she claims that they're bad customers because apparently they don't tip like other people. Take a look. This is really sad because I love black people so much, but I hate when they come to my job. Like, they never tip. Like, I've been going so hard for black people, but never once have I ever had a black people tip me well, like, or like on percentage. Like, maybe once in a while, but like, I just had a table with like 15 people, Hispanic, like, Dominican, I heard somebody saying they was Dominican, and then a table full of like black people. It was vibes the whole time, like, I really gave great service, I always give great service. Do you know they did not tip, the bill was like $600, they did not tip, like, and then they was doing the most, like, they were sending stuff back, like, they was asking for stronger drinks, like, wanting free stuff, and like, no, like, mad at them. I can't stand serving black people. Now, <laughs> again, she said, and I understand what she is saying. Again, I'm not knocking her experience. And I do understand what she's saying and I sympathize with her. The issue I have serving black people compared to serving some black people. Because again, I, I can't put myself in that place. And maybe one of the reasons why I tip everywhere I go is because I've been a waiter. So I understand how hard it is. And I think a lack of education, some um, what do you call? Some my mom do something that annoys me, and I tell her all the time. I said, "Mom, don't open this sugar packet and make lemonade out of it. It's just ghetto. Please don't do it." Now, my mom is a good tipper. Um, I just don't like because there's a stereotype um, regarding that. Once you see a person opening up sugar packets and asking for a lemon, you're already in your head, they're not going to tip you. So there's certain things that we just don't, nothing wrong in doing that. But I don't do it because of the stereotype behind it. Um, so it's, it's a lack of education many times. I think people, especially a lot of uneducated people in this, in this area, you know, you may have a person who's a master mechanic or a, 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 a professional chef or whatever. In that area, they do very well. But when it come into an area, when it come to deal with people, they may be horrible at it. They may not understand because what's in a lot of people's head, and I realize this, when I go into a restaurant, I'm not there to tip you. You're there to serve me. I don't have to tip you. And I think that's what's in a lot of people's head. So many times when, when people go into a restaurant, they don't, like for example, if I can't tip you, I'm not going to sit there and eat. I'm even scared to go into a restaurant with cheap people. And I'm not, and I'm just using that word in a limited sense because in their mind, they're probably not cheap. But I just don't like to go into a restaurant and I, 
I won't do it. <laughs> if I can't tip you decent, I'm not going to go in there and eat. I'll go cook my own food. And I guarantee you I could cook better than what you're serving me. But I'd rather go cook my own thing than to sit, have a person like this serve me, give their all to me, and then I just get up and leave, or I give you crumbs, I tip you crumbs. I don't like that. I can't do that. And that is why I said, I don't like the statement. I'd rather you say some black people do this. Roll it. Yeah, so you see, now you heard that. Okay, now I have done stories about the ghetto crowd coming into uh, restaurants and ordering food and then leaving. Okay, so at least they didn't walk out and leave. 20 people stiffed a waitress and restaurant when they did a dine and dash at the Crazy Cajun in Northwest Houston. This video posted to social media caught the table of 20, leaving the restaurant before paying their $500 tab. The manager says the group made several complaints and sent the food back to the kitchen. He says he even tried to fix the problems, but the guests couldn't be pleased. Management even comped some of the items. The diners also had a problem with the automatic gratuity. You can see some of them walking out with the food they complained about. Two people did pay, but the rest of the bill was left unpaid. One person is even heard threatening the staff, saying they would get shot. The waitress, who is a single mother, lost her tip. The management has filed a police report. Right, but apparently, again, this is an experience. You see, that's really sad. And again... <laughs> I don't have an issue with what is being said about some people. I just don't like the term where you lump everyone in the same boat. Because working at the casino, man, I have some good white tippers, black tippers, Jamaican tippers, Haitian tippers, name it. I have some good tippers. Then I have some people just don't want to tip you, but they were just nice people. And you serve them anyway. But this is sad that people can be this way, but people are this way. Um, again, here I am. Some people are this way. Not all people are this way. And it's unfortunate. We have to expect this of people that some is going to tip good, some is not. And education play a great role in it because I don't, this is just my opinion. You should not go and sit in a restaurant, have someone serve you and not willing to tip them or have no tip for them. I don't think that is fair. I'd rather you take your food and go home or you cook your own food. That people are having so much that they're going to the internet to specifically uh, call out black people for not tipping enough. And of course, if you tell your experience as a waitress mm -hmm. that, hey, you know, black people don't tip that much. This is how I feel. Okay. Even as a black waitress, apparently you are helping uh, foster racism in your comment section. I honestly believe you're doing that. You're helping fostering racism um, because you, you're telling people it's like, Especially when they do it on social media, you informing people that, hey, when black people come in, expect them not to tip you. And I don't think that is fair for all blacks and all people. And there's a lot of things that play a role in this. Is education again sound like a broken record? But if you don't educate people in this area, many people don't know. They think that's something you have to do. They don't know that sometimes I was making like two something an hour plus tip. And there's times I've worked eight hours and didn't get any tip. I made what? If I work eight hours, two eight sixteen, I made sixteen dollars. For that whole day, because I didn't 
making a tip because the people them that was there at that time, you could tell that they were just either uneducated or they just didn't have the money. And that's why I say education plays a big part in this. Some people can't see within their own mind me taking up $10 to give away for free because they probably had a hard life or they probably just struggling in that area. I don't think people like that should go and sit in a restaurant and eat and have somebody serve them making 2 or $3 an hour and you don't tip them. But there's a lot of things behind this. Shit, because people happen to agree. Hella hate comments on my video where I said 80% of African Americans either don't tip appropriately or they don't tip at all. I feel like when you present a stereotype as a fact, you should at least have a study or evidence, even though it may. Facts. That is so true. If you're presenting this as a fact, you should be able to back this up. Maybe your lived experience, there could be actual reasons why, which is why I did some research. And the fact that you're saying this type of thing, and then there are racists in the comments like, yeah, I agree, yeah, I agree. It's just further look, making people look like, oh, black people don't care, we're cheap, you know, we don't do this and that. Like, it's just feeding into the fuel of racism. So one reason that this possibly could be true is that waitresses and waiters, because they believe black people don't tip or are going to leave small tips, they're automatically treating them badly from the get go. So of course, they're not going to get a high tip or any tip at all, because you're not providing good service because you automatically think, oh, black, not going to get a tip. You have some people, however, who do disagree and they say, no, it's not black people, right? They don't tip. It's the Christians who don't tip. Take a look. Now, I've been a Christian for probably 28 years. Who knows but God? That's a good point. You see, I've, I want, it's so tempting to say Christians are horrible tippers. Because some of the worst tippers that I have experienced are church folks. But I'm still not going to say all church folks are like this or all professing believers are this way. But my experience, even going out with Christians sometimes make me nervous because I don't want people to think like, oh, there goes a black person um, um, with this so with this other person or whatever. I don't like to be stereotyped and I don't like to stereotype people, but in my experience as a Christian, being around other believers, um, many Christians are horrible. Um, no, I'm going to say some Christians are horrible tippers, but, I learned something that I've never even um, heard of. Um, let's roll it for a second so I don't keep talking. Y'all, he asked to put everything on one ticket, and this is what he did. <laughs> Y'all always get on this app talking about how black people don't tip, which as a former server, I just want to say some of my best tables and highest tips were black people, black family. That's true. Even working at the casino, there's certain, listen, I had customer from all, that's why I love people. I love people from every race, every culture. I just in love with people, man, because I've experienced some, even the ones who were unable to tip, I stand and have some good conversation with them because they were just genuinely nice people. They could not tip me with money, but they, we had great conversation. And yeah, you can't pay your bills with great conversation, but you can't throw the baby out with the bath water. But um, let's continue. But why y'all never talk about that church crowd? The I'm sorry, that is, 
there's so much truth to this stuff here. Oh my God, let's rewind a little bit. Families, but why y'all never talk about that church crowd? The Christian tippers, the people who will literally write on your ticket, Jesus only asked for 10%, so why should I give you 20? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I didn't even know people do this. Oh, I would have liked for one of them to um, I put that on a ticket for me. Being a professing believer, it's like there's no way that people can actually write things like this. Being a professing believer when you need to be the light. You ain't Jesus. I'm not tipping you. Jesus didn't even ask for 10%. That's not even biblical truth. There's nowhere in the Bible you're going to find where Jesus is asking for 10%. Nowhere in the scripture. I challenge you on that. People come in with 40 folks, did not call ahead, did not make a reservation for a large party, demanding the private room for no additional fee just to tip the server Five, ten dollars, maybe twenty if she's lucky. But but you see, this is what I'm saying. It's a lack of education. And the same thing Jesus asked for ten percent, a lack of education. You don't even know your word well. Because anyone who is a professing believer would actually say something like this. Um I'm gonna say you have an issue with knowledge of the scripture. Um, this is sad. I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness, continue a little bit. On their way out. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Okay, so again, I am very fascinated and curious to know what you guys think about this stereotype and this viral trend of waitresses going to the internet to declare that, hey, black people are bad customers, okay? And, and that's, that's, I would, I've learned. I've learned not to stereotype people until after you get to know them. I'm going to give you an example. When I moved from Miami into this small country town, um, I, was, um, I, was doing, I was working with direct TV. I came up to a home, looked like a nice cabin, Beautiful running streams look like they are, they are um, well-off individuals or a well-off family, financially stable in my opinion. Now, I saw the gentleman showing another man a gun. So in my mind, it's like, man, I'm in the middle of, of nowhere. So I wonder what they're going to do to me. Now, again, a lot, lack of knowledge, lack of experience of the area. When you don't have the experience or the knowledge of people, I'm not saying not to be careful. You're going to panic. You're going to panic. So, I said hello to the I said hello to the um the the homeowner and his friend. They said nothing. So now what didn't come to mind is that they didn't hear me. They were so caught up in the conversation showing um guns and um just excited about what they were doing. So now I'm trying to see how I could exit this place without getting shot. I'm angry. I'm saying, man, they must be racist and all of this thing. After maybe a couple of minutes, the man came, oh, I didn't even realize you were here. In my head, you liar. You heard when I said hello. Again. They probably was caught up in their conversation. 
Then the other gentleman said, with the gun in his hand, said, I heard a little accent on you. Are you Jamaican? He said, yes. Oh, man, I work with a lot of Jamaican. They were some of my best friends. And I felt horrible inside because I judged these people without even knowing them. And this have happened to me over and over and over and over. The man said, oh, go inside. Do what you want. My wife is in there. My family is in there. I'll be out here just... I said, oh, they're probably trying to set me up. Who would let me in their house with their wife and children? And but he did. And I'm here conversating with his, his wife, his daughter, and um, his little 10, 12, 13-year-old daughter just following me around, conversating with me, telling me about school. And I had a good time at uh, these people's house, but I judged them wrongly without getting to know them first. And this is why I won't, I refuse, and I said, God, convict my heart if I lump everyone in the same boat and I'm judging people in a wrongful manner. Thanks for listening again. 26 minutes. I wanted to do seven minutes, but I guess that didn't work out. Peace out. And remember, if you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, the Bible said, this is a day that the Lord have made. You may not see tomorrow, but he made today. Give your heart to Jesus. Peace out.